Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on our channel, Immortal News. Today in this special episode, we'll be presenting a list of famous celebrities who have passed away, with announcements of their passing made in the last 24 hours and up to 12 months. In this special episode, we have special tributes in our today's top headline section. Before we proceed, we kindly ask for your support by giving this video a thumbs up. Let's begin. Thank you. Number 31. Neil Nanda, a renowned comedian celebrated for his vibrant performances on Jimmy Kimmel Live and Comedy Central's Adam Devine's House Party, has tragically passed away at 32. A dynamic presence in the comedy world, Nanda's journey began in high school, culminating in acclaimed appearances and hosting the much-lauded Unnecessary Evil in Los Angeles. His sudden departure, confirmed by manager Greg Weiss, has sent shockwaves through the comedy community. Born to Indian immigrant parents in Atlanta, Georgia, Nanda infused his acts with a distinct flair, leaving an indestructible mark on stages like the Port Comedy Club in Baltimore and on peers like Matt Reif. His legacy as a hard-working, kind-hearted comedian who brought laughter and joy remains a beacon in the comedy world. Number 30. The classical music realm is in mourning following the passing of Heike Matthiessen, a German classical guitarist celebrated for her exquisite mastery and dedication to championing music by female composers. At 59, after bravely battling cancer for five years, Matthiessen leaves a profound legacy. Trained under legends like Pepe Romero and Manuel Barueco, her career sparkled with global performances and collaborations, from the United States to Japan. A digital pioneer, she used social media to spread classical music's allure. Matthiessen's artistry, promoting tranquility and diversity, leaves an unforgettable mark on the music world. Number 29. Laura Lynch, a foundational member of the Chicks, formerly Dixie Chicks, has tragically died at 65 in a car crash near El Paso, Texas. As the original upright bassist and lead vocalist, Lynch significantly shaped the band's early sound, influencing modern country music. Her pioneering role in the band's success is undeniable, even after her departure in 1995. The Texas Department of Public Safety is investigating the crash. Lynch's musical legacy, revered by fans and musicians, and her influence on female artists in the genre, live on. She is survived by her husband, Maktal, and daughter. Number 28. Vasilis Karas, a legendary Greek laico singer with a signature raspy voice, passed away at 70 after a long cancer battle. A beloved figure in the music world, Karas's journey began in a Thessaloniki club in 1969, leading to a remarkable career highlighted by his best-selling album, Mechis Kani Aliti, in 1997. Celebrated for his gold and platinum records, Karas captivated audiences globally, especially in cities with large Greek communities. His legacy in Lyco music, marked by collaborations with top artists, leaves a lasting imprint. He leaves behind his wife and son. Number 27. Hugh Ainsworth, a towering figure in journalism, passed away at 92, leaving a monumental legacy in American news reporting. Famous for covering pivotal events like the JFK assassination and interviewing infamous personalities like Ted Bundy, his six-decade career was marked by meticulous and fearless reporting. Ainsworth, a four-time Pulitzer Prize finalist, remains a symbol of journalistic excellence and integrity. His remarkable journey in journalism will continue to influence and inspire future generations. Number 26. Selma Archard, a versatile actress known for roles in Melrose Place, Die Hard, and Lethal Weapon films, passed away at 98. With a career spanning decades, Archer appeared in over 50 productions, including Scrooged and Mommy Dearest. Also remembered for her marriage to variety columnist Army Archer, she was a familiar face on Aaron Spelling productions and game shows. Her rich legacy and entertainment, marked by memorable performances and a dedicated commitment to her craft, leaves a lasting impression in Hollywood. Number 25. Andre Brower, an Emmy-winning actor renowned for his roles in Homicide Life on the Street and Brooklyn Nine-Nine, passed away at 61 after a brief illness. Brower's career launched with the 1989 film Glory. He gained fame as debt rudder Frank Pembleton in Homicide, winning an Emmy in 1998. His diverse talents shone through in the FX miniseries Thief, earning him another Emmy in 2006 and as Captain Raymond Holt in the comedy Brooklyn Nine-Nine, 
which brought him four Emmy nominations. Brocker's recent work included She Said and the animated film Spirit Untamed. He is survived by his wife, Amy Brabson, and their three sons. Donations in his memory can be made to the Classical Theater of Harlem. Number 24. Matthew Perry, acclaimed American-Canadian actor, passed away on October 28th at age 54. Best known for his iconic role as Chandler Bing in Friends, Perry's career spanned various successful TV shows and films, including The West Wing and Seventeen Again. He also made significant contributions as a writer and producer. Perry's personal struggles with addiction led him to become an advocate for rehabilitation, sharing his experiences to help others. His death, caused by the acute effects of ketamine, marks the loss of a beloved figure in entertainment and a vocal supporter of addiction recovery. Number 23. Shane McGowan, the celebrated frontman of the Pogues, passed away at age 65 following a battle with encephalitis. Born to Irish immigrants in Kent, McGowan was a pivotal figure in blending punk with traditional Irish music. His iconic song, Fairy Tale of New York, a collaboration with Kirsty McCall, remains a beloved Christmas classic. McGowan's profound impact as a songwriter and performer was acknowledged globally, earning him a reputation as one of music's greatest lyricists. Despite his struggles with health and addiction, his legacy endures in his poetic compositions and unique musical style, deeply resonating with fans worldwide. Number 22. Frances Sternhagen, an esteemed American actress, passed away on November 27th at 93. A versatile character actress, Sternhagen's six-decade career spanned theater, film, and TV. She won two Tony Awards for The Good Doctor and The Heiress, and received acclaim for roles in Cheers and Sex and the City. Her extensive Broadway work, including roles in Equus and On Golden Pond, showcased her exceptional talent. Sternhagen's impact on the performing arts was profound, leaving behind a legacy of diverse and powerful performances. Number 21. Rosalind Carter, former First Lady of the United States and a dedicated advocate for mental health, caregiving, and women's rights, passed away on November 19th at the age of 96. Married for 77 years to President Jimmy Carter, she was his steadfast partner and source of wisdom. Rosalind's impact extended beyond her role as First Lady. She was a humanitarian who significantly improved mental health care and resources for caregiving. Her legacy of service and compassion deeply influenced American society. Survived by her children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren, Rosalind Carter's exemplary life will be remembered as a beacon of dedication and empathy. Number 20. Tyler Christopher an American actor best known for his roles on General Hospital as Nicholas Cassidine and Connor Bishop, passed away from a suspected cardiac event in San Diego on October 31, 2023, at age 50. He gained fame in daytime television and later joined Days of Our Lives as Stefan Demera. His career spanned over two decades, making significant contributions to the soap opera genre. Christopher's passing is a profound loss to the television community and his fans. Number 19. Suzanne Summers, an influential American actress, author, and businesswoman, passed away on October 15th, just shy of her 77th birthday. Best known for her roles as Chrissy Snow on Three's Company and Carol Foster Lambert on Step by Step, Summers was a beloved TV icon. She authored over 25 books, primarily focusing on health and wellness, and popularized the Thighmaster exercise device. Despite controversy surrounding her promotion of alternative medical treatments, Summer's impact on television and health advocacy was significant. Her battle with breast cancer, which had returned earlier in the year, marked the end of an era of a multifaceted career in entertainment and wellness. Number 18. Michael Gambon, an esteemed Irish-English actor, passed away on September 27th at age 82 due to pneumonia. A distinguished figure in theater and film, Gambon was a member of the original Royal National Theatre under Laurence Olivier. He won three Olivier Awards and four BAFTA TV Awards and was knighted in 1998. Famous for his Shakespearean roles and performances in The Singing Detective and Cranford, Gambon achieved global recognition as Albus Dumbledore in the Harry Potter series. His six-decade-long career showcased his immense talent and versatility, 
leaving a lasting legacy in the performing arts. Number 17. David McCallum, a celebrated Scottish actor and musician, passed away from natural causes on September 25th at age 90. He gained international fame in the 1960s as secret agent Ilya Kuryakin in The Man from UNCLE, and later charmed audiences as Dr. Donald Ducky Mallard in NCIS. His career spanned over six decades, including memorable roles in Colditz, Sapphire and Steel, and films like The Great Escape. McCallum's enduring appeal in both television and film coupled with his skilled musicianship left a significant mark in the entertainment industry. Number 16. Billy Miller, an American actor known for his work on soap operas, passed away on September 15th in Austin, Texas. Celebrated for his roles as Billy Abbott on The Young and the Restless and Jason Morgan drew Kane on General Hospital, Miller's performances earned him critical acclaim and numerous awards. Despite a successful career, Miller struggled with bipolar depression, a battle that ultimately led to his tragic his contribution to television, marked by depth and versatility, is remembered by fans and peers in the industry. His death highlights the importance of mental health awareness and support. Number 15. Angus Cloud, an American actor, passed away on July 31st at age 25 in Oakland, California. Rising to fame with his portrayal of Fezco in the HBO series Euphoria, Cloud's authentic performance won him wide acclaim. Despite his short career, he made a significant impact, also appearing in independent films like North Hollywood and The Line. His untimely death, resulting from an accidental multiple drug overdose, saddened fans and colleagues alike. Cloud's raw talent and promising career will be remembered for its profound influence in a brief time. Number 14. Tony Bennett, the iconic and cherished American singer, passed away on July 21st at the age of 96 in his beloved New York City. Known for his masterful interpretation of American musical standards and his signature song, I Left My Heart in San Francisco, Bennett's career spanned over seven decades. Diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2016, Bennett continued to perform and record, demonstrating his unwavering commitment to his art. With 19 Grammy Awards, Bennett's music transcended generations, captivating audiences with his rich voice and heartfelt performances. Number 13. Paul Rubens, famed for his iconic character Pee Wee Herman, passed away on July 30th at 70. Rubens created a lasting legacy with his unique blend of comedy and whimsy, captivating audiences as Pee Wee in both television and film. His career, marked by artistic innovation and resilience in the face of adversity, included memorable roles in Pee Wee's Playhouse and Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Despite controversies, Rubens remained a beloved figure in American pop culture, illustrating his remarkable ability to connect with generations of fans. His death due to acute hypoxic respiratory failure from myelogenous leukemia and metastatic lung cancer marks the end of an era in comedic entertainment. Number 12. Steve Harwell, the energetic frontman of the famed band Smash Mouth, known for hits like All Star and Walkin' on the Sun, passed away on September 4th leaving a notable void in the music world. Harwell's distinctive voice and vibrant stage presence defined a generation of alternative rock music, making Smash Mouth a household name in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Beyond his musical talents, Harwell was also admired for his charitable work, especially in support of children's causes. His passing is mourned by fans and fellow musicians alike, marking the loss of an artist who not only entertained but also inspired many with his unique blend of music and altruism. Number 11. Ron Cephas Jones, an actor revered for his depth and gravitas, passed away on August 19th at 66 due to a long-standing pulmonary issue. His illustrious career was marked by his role as William Hill in This Is Us, earning him a Screen Actors Guild Award and two Emmys. Jones's versatility shone through in varied roles in Mr. Robot Luke Cage, and Truth Be Told. His legacy extends beyond screen to Broadway, evident in his Tony nomination for Clyde's, leaving a profound impact on both stage and screen. Number 10. Alan Arkin, an acclaimed American actor and filmmaker, passed away on June 29th at the age of 89 due to heart problems. With a career spanning seven decades, Arkin received numerous honors, including an Academy Award, and a Tony Award. 
his remarkable journey from the Second City sketch comedy to Broadway stardom, and his roles in classics like The Russians Are Coming, The Russians Are Coming, and Little Miss Sunshine, showcased his versatile talent. Arkin's directorial ventures and memorable television appearances such as in The Kaminsky Method further cemented his status as a respected figure in the entertainment industry. Number 9. Gary Wright, an influential American musician and composer, passed away at home in Palos Verdes Estates on September 4th at the age of 80. Renowned for his 1976 hits Dreamweaver and Love is Alive, Wright's album The Dreamweaver marked a high point in a diverse career that spanned over seven decades. His early work included playing with Spooky Tooth and contributing to George Harrison's All Things Must Pass. Wright's embrace of world music and New Age genres later in his career, along with ventures into film soundtracks like For Wayne's World, showcased his versatility and enduring appeal. His passing leaves a legacy of innovation and spiritual depth in music. Number 8. Jimmy Buffett, an iconic American musician and singer-songwriter, passed away on September 1st at age 76 at his home in Sag Harbor, New York, due to complications from Merkel cell carcinoma. Buffett was celebrated for his tropical rock sound encapsulating a lifestyle of island escapism. His famous The Big Eight Inches songs, including the acclaimed Margaritaville, embodied a carefree, adventurous spirit. Beyond music, Buffett expanded his influence into business, owning restaurant chains and other ventures, and was also a best-selling author. His dedicated fan base, known as Parrotheads, admired his work's escapism and joy. Buffett's legacy lives on as a symbol of enjoying life and following one's passions. Number 7. Mike Williams, a former NFL wide receiver, passed away at 36 after a construction accident. A fourth-round draft pick by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in 2010, Williams shone as an offensive Rookie of the Year runner-up. He concluded his NFL career with 223 receptions and 26 touchdowns. The Buccaneers and Syracuse Orange, his alma mater, expressed deep condolences remembering his resilience and talent. Williams' legacy in the football community will be cherished. Number 6. Bob Barker, renowned media personality and animal rights advocate, passed away on August 26 at 99 after a battle with Alzheimer's disease. Famous for hosting The Price is Right from 1972 to 2007 and Truth or Consequences from 1956 to 1975, Barker was a television icon. Born on the Rosebud Indian Reservation, he served in the U.S. Navy Reserve during World War II. A passionate animal rights activist, Barker was known for ending his shows with a message encouraging pet neutering. His legacy extends beyond entertainment, deeply influencing animal rights activism. Number 5. Yarlene Sorkin, an acclaimed actress, screenwriter, and comedian, passed away on August 24 at the age of 67 due to complications from pneumonia and multiple sclerosis. Renowned for her role as Calliope Jones on Days of Our Lives, and as the inspiration and voice of Harley Quinn in Batman the Animated Series, Sorkin's career was marked by her vibrant performances and creative writing. Married to Christopher Lloyd, with whom she had two sons, Eli and Owen, Sorkin left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Her legacy as a talented artist and voice actor continues to inspire. Number 4. Rick Jenneret, the iconic play-by-play -play announcer for the Buffalo Sabres, passed away on August 17 at the age of 81 due to multiple organ failure. Known affectionately as RJ, Jenneret's energetic and passionate commentary style made him a beloved figure in hockey broadcasting. His career spanned over five decades, starting in 1971 and culminating after the 2021-22 season, making him the longest tenured play-by-play -play announcer with a single NHL team. Jeanneret's commitment to the Sabres and his distinct voice left an indelible mark on the world of sports broadcasting. Number 3. Michael Parkinson, a distinguished English television presenter, broadcaster, journalist, and author, passed away at his home on August 16 at the age of 88, following a brief illness. Renowned for his eponymous talk show Parkinson, which aired from 1971 to 1982, and from 1998 to 2007, Parkinson was a staple in British television, interviewing over 2,000 celebrities. His career encompassed both television and radio, earning him the title of the great British talk show host by The Guardian. 
A respected figure in broadcasting, Parkinson's interviews were known for their depth, earning him a CBE and a knighthood for his contributions to the field. Number 2. Chris Peluso, a renowned Broadway and West End actor, passed away on August 15th at the age of 40, leaving the theater community in mourning. Known for his versatility, Peluso shone in roles such as The Balladeer in Assassins and key parts in Lestat and Beautiful, the Carol King musical. His West End achievements included starring roles in Miss Saigon, The Woman in White, and Death Takes a Holiday. He was also celebrated for his performances in Mamma Mia, Wicked, and Funny Girl. Peluso's sudden passing comes a year after he stepped back from theater to seek treatment for schizoaffective disorder. He's survived by his wife Jessica Gomes, daughter Aria Lee, and son Kyo Lian. Today's top headlines. News 1. Mississippi State University is mourning the loss of Bulldog basketball icon Jim Ashmore, who passed away at the age of 88. Celebrated as one of the greatest Bulldogs ever, Ashmore was a standout three-time All-SEC selection from 1954 to 1957 and an Associated Press All-America third team honoree in his senior year. Ashmore made history as the first Mississippi State player to score over 1,000 career points, ranking fourth on the program's all-time list. Notably, he is one of only two players in the school's history to average over 20 points per game, a testament to his scoring prowess. His extraordinary 45-point performance against Ole Miss in 1957 still ties for the second most points scored by a state player in a single game, inducted into the Mississippi State Sports Hall of Fame in 1974 and the Mississippi Sports Hall of Fame and Museum in 1983, Ashmore was also named an SEC legend in 2000. His legacy at Mississippi State remains unparalleled, leaving a lasting impact on the basketball program and its fans. News 2. The entertainment industry is mourning the loss of esteemed actor Ronald James Dulaca Gibbs, widely known by his stage name, Ronaldo Valdez. He passed away at the age of 76, as confirmed by the Quezon City Police Department. The cause of his death remains undisclosed. Valdez's illustrious acting career, spanning nearly six decades, made him a beloved figure in the entertainment world. His most recent work was in the romantic drama series, Too Good To Be True, where he showcased his talent alongside the popular on-screen and real-life couple, Catherine Bernardo and Daniel Padilla. In this series, he was admired for his role as Lolo Sir. Valdez's legacy extends beyond his professional achievements. He is survived by his wife, Maria Fay Illigan Gibbs, and his two children, who are both well-known figures in the entertainment industry, Jano and Melissa Gibbs. His passing marks the end of a remarkable era in the entertainment world, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and a family that continues his artistic tradition. News 3. NBA Hall of Famer Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is undergoing surgery for a broken hip after an accidental fall at a Los Angeles concert. The incident was announced on Abdul-Jabbar's official Twitter account by his business partner Deborah Morales, who thanked the Los Angeles Fire Department and the medical team at UCLA Hospital for their immediate assistance and care. Renowned for his legendary NBA career, Abdul-Jabbar is also a respected author and columnist. He has faced several health challenges, including prostate cancer, leukemia, and heart bypass surgery, and has been a vocal advocate for improved health care, especially for black Americans. Abdul-Jabbar's recent health scare adds to his history of overcoming medical obstacles and underscores his ongoing advocacy for health care equity News 4. At 98, Dick Van Dyke, renowned for his roles in Mary Poppins and The Dick Van Dyke Show, reflects on his life and health in a CBS special. Dick Van Dyke, 98 Years of Magic. In a candid interview, Van Dyke humorously acknowledges his past struggle with alcoholism and his journey to sobriety since the 1970s. He credits his wife for maintaining his health routine, ensuring he exercises regularly. Despite the sadness of losing close friends over the years, Van Dyke remains positive and open to making new connections. His enduring spirit and resilience are celebrated in the special, honoring his impressive legacy in entertainment. News 5, Flex Wheeler, renowned as the Sultan of Symmetry and a favorite of Arnold Schwarzenegger, shared a disheartening health update on Instagram. Despite undergoing over 40 surgeries, including a recent one for his arms, 
Wheeler revealed that his recovery has not been as successful as hoped. Known for his resilience, the bodybuilding legend admitted to facing significant challenges post-surgery, impacting his daily life and mobility. His candid revelation highlights the ongoing struggles he endures, resonating deeply within the bodybuilding community and among his fans worldwide. Number 1. Robbie Robertson, the renowned lead guitarist and primary songwriter for the band, passed away at age 80. Robertson's legacy includes iconic songs like The Wait and The Night They Drove Old Dixie Down. His work with the band, originally known as The Hawks, significantly influenced music genres such as alt-country and Americana. They initially gained fame backing Ronnie Hawkins and Bob Dylan before achieving independent acclaim. In 1994, the band was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Robertson, who recently completed the soundtrack for Killers of the Flower Moon, died in Los Angeles after a long illness. His impact on music, marked by his fusion of various influences, remains profound.